Today, I want to talk to you about the hype of boutique guitar picks and whether you should get into it or not. So let's start. This here is a 1962 reissue of an Epiphone Sorrento. Uh, I'm going into a 1965 Bandmaster. And I'm going to start from the brightest pick to the darkest pick. So the first pick is the Gravity Acrylic Series 1.5 millimeter. Lastly, we have the blue chip TP60. Now for some comping, same order as before. So I have a pros and cons list for each pick. Let's just go straight into it. Starting with the blue chip. Uh, the blue chip lasts a long time. I know a guy, in fact, who has had one for about eight years now. So to give you an idea. Uh, these, to me, have a lot of body and attack to them. There's a clarity to them that you can't find with other picks. And there's a body to them that can't really be described. Uh, they just sound really full but still clear. Nice balanced sound. Um, they have a great grip along with a nice mass to them. They actually feel like they have a little bit of weight, which is cool. Um, the grip is deceiving at first because it's such a flat pick. You don't think there will be grip, but there is. Um, and then they're very quick feeling. It's partially because of the bevel that they put in. They put a little bit of a bevel. They call it a speed bevel in the side, which you can get it without that if you want to. Um, I opted to just because that's what they recommend. Because they take so long to wear down, they figure they might as well go ahead and help you out and make it worn down a little bit. Um, that really helps glide across the strings nicely. It's really cool. Uh, the cons, obviously, these are expensive. The price, this one pick is $35. As soon as you tell the guitarist that, they, they lose their crap about it. But if you consider that this one pick lasts a long time, maybe at least a year, two years, the amount of money you probably spend on picks anyway is about that much regardless, if not more than that anyway. So I think it's worth it. The dark color, it's pretty easy to lose. Uh, if you have a habit of, of not losing picks, which you developed over time, um, like I have, it, it's not that big of a deal, but it, it just it would be nicer if they found a way to change the color of this material, which so far they haven't been able to. It's just one color consistently. So another thing is that I don't know if it's just these picks specifically, but they do need a cleaning. Maybe this is all picks, and I just didn't notice until recently, but just some hot water and some soap will get your finger oil off it, and it'll actually feel grippy again over time. Next, the acrylic. These are really awesome. Uh, they're really bright. The attack on these is great. If you have a really dark sounding guitar, this can really help liven it up. Or if you have old strings on an acoustic, this can help make them sound at least kind of newer. Um, 
they're a lot less expensive than the, the blue chips. Yeah, it's a $5 investment. If you don't like it, and you've had worse coffee for $5 than this pig is, and this pig will last you like eight months. You know, these acrylics, uh, they do last a good while. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the biggest thing for me about these picks though, honestly, yes, they have a great sound. That's awesome. Is that these are so easy to find. I mean, because of the way the acrylic is, it just lights up when, as soon as any kind of light hits it. So on stage, on church, wherever you are, where it's dark, or there's not much light, these can be found. I mean, it's crazy. The cons, these are pretty slick feeling. You can get some that have grips on them. Um, to me, it's just the acrylic itself, uh, but you should definitely experiment with other grips if you can. They can be overly bright, as bright as they are. I mean, this and a telly is ear piercing, genuinely. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, now again, everyone has their own sound, so you may want that, or you may just like go EQ your amp differently. That's all up to you. Um, these have what's called a chirp to them. Over time, at first they don't. Uh, the, the bevel on the side is nice and smooth, but over time they develop what's called a chirp, which is what the term gravity coined, I, I suppose. Uh, but as acrylic wears down, it becomes porous, and that creates a grittiness against the string. So you hear an initial grit, and then the resonate, resonating of the string. Um, and I don't care for that. Some people do. I see applications for it, but in my playing, not personally. Also, these don't last as long. You get what you pay for, genuinely. Uh, if it's your first time, it's not a bad investment, though. I would look into buying one of these and just trying it out for six months and just seeing what happens, you know. Uh, for me, that's about how long it took to wear down to where I didn't like the sound of it anymore, personally. Uh, but to each his, his or her own, you know. Those are two drastically different things right there. That One is acrylic, it's $5. And it's very light, by the way. This, I mean, there's no weight to this whatsoever, which might be your thing too. The sharp point, I genuinely think too, the sharp point is what makes it so bright a lot of the time. Um, and you can, there are other models that they make that don't have that sharp point. So if you're looking for something a little, you know, duller sounding, I bet you could find it with them. But the in between, between $35 and $5 would be this guy right here, which is the $20 uh, Gravity 1.5 millimeter gold series pick now this pick right here was my main pick for a whole year before i got my gravity uh my, before i got my blue chip sorry uh this thing right out of the gate just floored me i had no idea that a pick could make playing this much fun it, it, that may sound stupid or like self-indulgent but genuinely i i loved the way this pick felt uh, i wore it down so much in a year though and i tried to reshape it and i just didn't do a good job i think um it still feels good but after playing a blue chip, I, I kind of don't want to go back to this though, honestly. Would I buy another one? Oh, of course I'd buy another one. Um, I'm sure if I had a brand new one again and it had that nice point like it had when, it, when I first got it, uh, I would use it so much. I just don't have a need for it right now is all. Now, one thing I do want to harp on real quick uh, before I close this video up is that I don't think that these kind of picks are for everybody. I think that there is a threshold one must pass before they can start... Uh, making differentiations between good products and bad products and good equipment and bad equipment. You really won't notice the huge differences in these guitar picks unless your technique is at a certain point, I feel. Uh, I don't feel like someone who's been playing for four years would be able to, to pick up any of these picks and be like, oh wow, yeah, I really get what they're saying with this chirp or with this brightness or with that 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 nice thud of the blue chip that that's clear and, and big sounding. To, to them, it's just another piece of, of material they're using to, to strike metal. You know, I'm not trying to make myself sound high and mighty. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. If you've been playing guitar for 10 years, you're in that category, I'm sure, of where you can feel the difference in, in these picks and why they matter. So it just depends. And even if not, I mean, if you got the time and money, it's your money. You know, buy a pick, try it if you want to. Uh, again, make it a habit to not lose the pick if you can, because that would really be that would really suck if you bought a nice pick and just lost it. But yeah, overall, my personal opinion is that the blue chip is worth every bit of the money but the gravities are by no means a bad choice for a guitar pick. And neither are Jazz 3s, neither are the Dunlop uh, picks that they make. Um, I mean, there's so many other picks out there that, that have a good sound to them that aren't as expensive as these, but these ones have a next level sound and feel to them. And again, this isn't really something that, that the audience won't pick up on necessarily, that they're not gonna be like, oh, he's clearly playing a gravity. It's more for your enjoyment, for you. It does make a difference in your tone, um, not so huge that it's like a make or break situation, but for me, I, I love the sound of a blue chip so much now that it's hard to go back to anything else. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found something useful out of this. 
Uh, if you want to delve into this more or you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer anything you want or give you some more sound demos. Um, so by all means, leave a comment below or shoot me an email. Thank you so much for watching.